So you've set up your blog, you've posted your first blog post. Now maybe you want to play around and fixing up your blog a little bit. So let me show you how to do that. Up in the top right, there is a um, word design. And if you click on this, it's going to take you to how, where you can edit your blog. And down below, you can click in um, different themes down here. You can, I um, chose one in simple. I believe it's simple. Um, you can go, oh, no, no, I did picture window. That's right. Uh, and so you can go through these and, and see which one you like um, and change it if you like. I'm going to stay with this one right now. Once you select the one you like, um, then you can click on the word customize. I think as you're on here, you can apply to blog and you can customize this. I'm going to customize the one I have right now. And I warn you, don't get too stuck customizing too much. We want our blogs plain, simple, easy to read. That is the key to the blogs that we are creating. So again, it lets you see different templates up here, which is kind of nice because you can preview it down below, see what it looks like. I can um, change the background colors so you can see. And again, I love because it lets you um, preview it. Uh, so if I want to do green, I can switch to green or I want to see what the blue looks like or maybe this color, I, you know, but I really kind of like this color, so I'm going to stick with this one right now. It does allow you to um, uh, select a different background image, but, um, you know, try it out. I guess I should be adventurous. Ugh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to, um, but there's so many to choose from here. I'm going to cancel. I liked what it had before. I like the grass behind there. It's up to you. You can put what you like. Um, down here uh, on the on the top right, I'm going to click Adjust Widths. And I do like this idea as well. Now, I do like seeing the green, you know, the background on there. And it's fine that the width it is right now, but you might want to play with this a little. The sidebar is not going to be quite as important. So look, at I'm making it larger. We don't need that larger. So I don't mind if that's smaller. All it's going to have is, um, you know, just a little bit about you. Uh, and then um, your archive of, of your blog entries. So that can be nice and small. And what it does is it allows for more, um, uh, more uh, width for your writing down below. Uh, you can make your entire blog, though, larger by going across like this. And again, it's up to you. Um, I, I kind of liked it where it was, so I can see um, the color on the, on the, on the um, sides there. Now, it, there is an option for layout, and we are not going to get into layout too much and adding gadgets and whatnot. We want these blogs to be very simple at this point. Maybe later we'll ask you to add something else, but just wanted to point that out. And advanced. Um, if you go into the advanced settings, uh, this is where you find your fonts. You knew that was coming, didn't you? So I can change all my fonts, but beware of changing fonts because you don't want something that is really difficult to read. So there I changed all my font on the page text. Uh, what if I did the, um, let's see, the post, change it to the post. And I can change the font color. I can change... Um, uh, the blog titles this way and it's very much like when we were doing websites you can just kind of see what it looks like as you go through it um, and change it uh, you can change the colors of things um, the post title all sorts of things to go through all right so when you're done you can say apply to blog at the top right and it's working saving it and I can view my blog and see the changes I've made. If you make something though that is really challenging to read, look I changed all these uh, fonts on the side here, um, especially if it's your font of your blog in the center, uh, then we're going to probably ask you to rethink that. We want it to be very clear and easy to read.